guys and welcome to my kitchen. My name is and more. I am your chef Charisse and today we're gonna make a vegan pumpkin roll. Look, I made this last year and it was like, it was okay. Like it was edible. Like it is what it is. But it was just not quite like a traditional pumpkin roll. Like have you guys had pumpkin roll before? It reminds me of Christmas Eve at my family. So my aunts and uncles and us, we lived like in the same little town. So we would go to like my aunt's house for dinner and then we go to my other aunt's house for cousin Christmas, like gift exchange and when we were little they made us do like a talent show who's nerd life and then we would go to our house for christmas eve dessert and one of the things that i loved making was a pumpkin roll and i just it was just like my pumpkin pie my grandma's pumpkin pie it had to be perfection perfection mirror all right so <laughs> All right, we're gonna make this pumpkin roll and it is gonna be amazing and everything that you have been missing out since you've gone vegan. So let's jump into this bitch. First thing we need to do is pull out the old stand mixer. You can certainly use a hand one, but like you're gonna be standing there and bitch, I ain't got time for that. So we're gonna add half of a cup of aquafaba, which if you saw the vegan marshmallow recipe, this is just a, the brine from a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, cause same thing. But we also, just like in the vegan marshmallows, we wanna stabilize this because we're gonna whip it up. But once we whip it up, we don't want them to deflate. So what we're gonna do to prevent that from happening is we're going to add half of a teaspoon of xanthan gum which don't freak out they got that shit at walmart like it's not that serious it sounds like a scary name but it is not and then we're going to also add half of a teaspoon of lemon juice and what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our little whisk attachment and let this go for about four to five minutes until we have soft peaks while our aquafaba is doing its a floofing thing, we're gonna go ahead and mix together our dry ingredients. So I've got about a cup worth of flour, and to that I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. Come on, get out of there, little guy. Don't be shy now. And then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So we're gonna throw that in there. You guys should watch my vegan pumpkin pie recipe. Um, it just reminded me because the pumpkin pie spice and Thanksgiving's coming and the holidays and I'm so excited. But you see how when I pulled the um, whisk attachment out that it's got this like almost ribbon effect and just more popped in there. So we have our soft peak. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to shut this back down and save you from listening to the mixer going. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup's worth of sugar about a spoonful at a time while the mixer is going at a slower speed so that it's all mixed in well together and we don't have any clumps and it's all incorporated. And then we're going to move on to our next ingredients. After we added all of our sugar completely to the mixture, we cranked it back up for about another three minutes. So now I'm going to add two thirds of pumpkin to this mixture and I'm going to let it go again until it's all incorporated. The mixer literally went for like, I don't know, 30 seconds tops for it to get all mixed in that pumpkin. So now we're going to slowly add in our dry ingredients. So what I like to do is just start sprinkling about half of it on and we're gonna fold it in there. So we're gonna cut down, fold around until it gets all mixed in, but try not to deflate our aquafaba. Then we add the rest and we just cut down cut down and flip over cut down the middle flip over cut down the middle flip over be careful don't deflate me so i've got a cookie sheet but i've got a smaller sized one so it's more like a quote jelly roll pan this is about a 15 by 10 inch and i went ahead and i put a little piece of parchment on the bottom and i sprayed that with the pan because we don't want a cake to get stuck and we're gonna very easily we're gonna get down close to it when we're putting it in there you guys because we don't want to get rid of all that air we just got in there you know what i'm saying and then I'm gonna come in here with my offset spatula and very lightly spread it all the way out evenly, you guys. You're not gonna like push down and spread like you would an icing. You're just gonna lightly touch it and move it around very lightly. Then we're just gonna pop this in our 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about, hold on girl, I gotta look at my nose. I forgot to even tell you that, okay? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, sorry about that malfunction. While our cake is baking, we're gonna go ahead and take a clean, thin tea towel and some powdered sugar, and we're just gonna start dusting this whole thing because we wanna make sure that our cake 
it doesn't stick to our tea towel when we put, bring it out of the oven. Once it comes out of the oven, make sure you go around the edges that might be stuck before you flip this over onto, be very careful, hold on, I'm afraid, you got a pot holder, safety first. I'm gonna flip it on to our tea towel. Hold on, I'm scared. Boom, like that. Oh, look at that dust. And then we're gonna lift up our parchment paper like a so. Then we're gonna come in here with our powdered sugar again and just give it a light dusting so that when we roll it up, it doesn't get stuck to our tea towel. We're gonna put this end of the tea towel on top and then we're gonna very easily roll this up very, very gently because we don't wanna break it. But what we're doing right now is we're gonna put this in this rolled shape so that as our cake cools, it will remember this rolled shape. While our pumpkin roll cake is cooling and you're hitting that subscribe button, that little bell notification, so you know when I put out another video, we're gonna take two cups of powdered sugar, which, fun fact, Powdered sugar is just sugar grinded up like in a food processor with cornstarch or flour. So like if you're gluten free, for instance, you'd wanna make sure you're getting the powdered sugar with cornstarch, but some of them do have flour. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this with about another quarter cup of flour and I'm gonna mix it in together because this is gonna help stabilize our frosting much better. So we set our sugar flour mixture aside and now we're going to start with half of a cup of our vegan butter. So you guys can use like Earth Balance or Miyoko's, whatever your little heart desires, but I just use Smart Balance. Not all Smart Balances are vegan. So make sure you check the ingredients list on the back. To that, I'm going to add another half of a cup of vegan cream cheese. I'm just using the Go Veggie vegan cream cheese this time because that's what we got at our store now, baby. And um, just be careful with Go Veggie, you guys, because a lot of their stuff is either vegan or lactose free. So you wanna make sure you look at the little thing on the top that says vegan, because if you get just lactose free, that's not vegan. And then to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and we're gonna whisk this up with a hand beater. Now that our butter and our cream cheese and our vanilla is all mixed in, we're going to slowly, uh, slowly, you're going to have a big old mess, slowly start adding a little bit at a time of our powder and sugar. And voila, vegan cream cheese frosting, which is going to go in the middle of our pumpkin roll. Now, I don't want this completely set in the fridge yet. Like, I don't want it super hard. But while we're waiting for our pumpkin roll to finish cooling off the cake part, I am going to pop this in the fridge for just a little bit. That way it can set up a little bit, but it's still more pliable. So it's going to be easy to smooth onto our roll. You're gonna wanna make sure that your roll is cool enough so that it doesn't melt your filling, but that it's not too cool that it's gonna start cracking when you open it up. So this has been on the counter for about 20 minutes. So very, very, very carefully, you guys, I cannot express this more, slowly start easily and gently rolling out your roll. Very carefully, don't let it crack. Then we're gonna take our filling and we're gonna start putting that baby on there. And we're gonna spread it up. So we wanna leave a little bit of room at the edge of all the edges actually, <laughs> because we don't want it to squeeze out of there. So we're gonna leave just a little lip on all the edges and go all around, give it a nice thick coating. And then we're gonna start with our side that's flipped over like this. That's gonna be our beginning that we're gonna start rolling. So I actually need to concentrate for this. So give me a second, you guys. And then you can use your little tea towel to kind of help lift it up a little bit while you're rolling. And then we want to immediately wrap this in saran wrap to help it hold its shape. And then we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator. You guys, uh, look at our pumpkin roll. Like, are you, are you joking me? Great British Bacon Show, watch your back, girl. <laughs> 
before I try this, I also want to say I'm wearing my Voted Early sticker. So make sure you guys go out on Tuesday, you Americans, and you do your due diligence and you vote and change this country for the better, for the love of God. Okay, so <laughs> here's our vegan pumpkin roll, and I'm going to fucking eat it because I've been waiting all fucking day. Okay. Okay, hold this is gonna be one of those moments. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my god. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat the whole thing on camera. I explained to you what I'm fucking feeling right now. <laughs> it is so moist. That cream cheese frosting, like, there's just enough in there. Oh, the compliments are like the cinnamon and the cream cheese and. Oh my god. You guys, I don't worry, I'm not gonna cry like Pumpkin Pie one, but you should make this even if you're not vegan. Do it up. The ones at the store, even when they're not vegan, they just fucking suck. Like, <laughs> I don't use cream cheese icing, they suck. So definitely make this. Um, I just, I'm sorry, I can't stop like eyeing it. I don't know if you see my eyes keep like going down there. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat so much of this tonight. And hopefully wrap some up to take to Chris and Jenny. I can't make any promises, girl. I know I said I would, but I might just have to make you a whole new one. I ain't gonna play. Okay. Follow me on social media. But if you make this, I want to see pictures. And then... It's so good. My full written recipe will be linked below. MidnightMunchiesAndMore.com Make sure you guys PayPal me so I can... Practice more recipes like this takes a lot of ingredients to test and make sure that they're delicious just for you in perfect form So make sure you go to my PayPal midnight munchies and more yahoo.com that will be below as well And as per usual make sure you guys subscribe to my channel Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe and any of my other videos comment your favorite Christmas dessert below And I'll catch you next time Oh, good night kisses, Wally wishes and reminisces His eyes kissing Wally wait for the full moon above Oh, I will read up, passionate love Listening closely, positioning my intuition For her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition Get up, like when you rise in the morning Rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning Get up, like when you rise in the morning Rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning Get up